on. I'm on. Just gonna take this opportunity to welcome you guys to What Dogs Legion. This is uh, the third out of the whole sequel. Uh, with all the hype that's gone on about this game, I'm actually quite excited. And I can see it in players in the uh, season pass, meaning that, bro, it's gonna be lit. That's all I can say. I guess. I'm actually. I'm actually short of words. That's pretty much it. Because I'm actually full on excited to um, bring this series to you guys. I know we've been going on with FIFA and stuff, but like this game is the one out of others that are gonna drop out this fall. And uh, yeah, a lot more are gonna come out when the PS5 drops. So. Keep me in your prayers because I'm going to be dropping a whole lot of content. On that note, let's get in, into the prologue and our first mission. All right, ladies and gents, welcome to town. London. History around every corner and a tourist photographing it. Pub serving up a pint and a smile. All that music, theater and art. And multiculturalism and the world's oldest underground the tube the class of cities really top shelf stuff only took 12,000 years to build it up and one night to tear it all down all right let's jump in our very first mission Status. Perimeter security is down. Plenty of your flying friends about. Fucking hell. Dalton, no time to waste. Yes, Papa. Rich Bagley, the government would sooner arrest us for trying to help than actually do something useful. Let us all this one on our own. Carefully, Dalton. I hear you detecting a little worry in Sigurd's voice. Brilliant. Asking the computer of our feelings. This explains so much. Shut it, you two, and get to work. There she is. in this system. That hurt you more than it hurt me. Do us a favor and keep it quiet, Dalton. If they don't shoot me, I won't shoot them. That's, that's, that's fair with me. All right. Let's get into this. So come out of there. Why don't I feel there's one more person I'm not seeing apart from the guy up there? Uh, I knew it. Too good. What the hell is this? 
Mm. <laughs> what? <laughs> Through the wall? Oh man. On day one, and we already have bugs. They've got loads of dead set gear down here. The irony. And why do you suppose that is? What? How did they get their hands on it? I don't know. But someone wants to make it look like dead set was here. Shit. You need to proceed with extreme caution, Doctor. Who are these men in black anyway? Nothing identifying. I suspect that's by design. Got us the alert for me. The entire place is rigged to blow. Jesus, those cannons. Christ, look at the bomb. Is that? RDX nitrogen. This Enough is to level dangerous. Parliament. Can you locate <gasps> the detonator, Bagley? Almost. Not exactly, but there's a device streaming a fuckload of encrypted data from the floor above Yo, you. Bagley, what yeah, the language, the brother? On my way. Data. Okay. Let's see. Uh, They've staged dead set propaganda all around the bombs. Uh, These pricks are gonna blow the parliament and hang it on us. Not if you get to that detonator first. Nah, not here. <sighs> so far, so good. MF five agents, Dalton. Thinking about it, I'm gonna try and get some like high end comment. Whoever these men in black are, they've got brass balls. Deck, to set up that's the of guys, because like it seems I'm gonna definitely need them. Bagley is just like, uh, what's his face? Jarvis. Of course I can, but I'm or also Iron Man. It's so quite morning. funny, actually. This to draw some attention your uh, way, Dalton. Oh, I'm Company is at that door. Dalton, you've got some heat at HQ. How long is this going to take, Bagley? Depends how often you interrupt me with questions. All right, everyone. Faces on, guns out. Faces on. Oh man. Fuck. They're on me. I'll try and hold them off. Alright, Dalton. Let's test your MI5 skills. Bro, the loading screen is done, Dalton. Shot. Second one. Let's just say I'm both impressed and annoyed by how the <laughs> third one. Tampa security is. Let's go. Tell me you come I'm through security. I'm waiting through terabytes of decoy codes looking oh, for the wow. detonation sequence. Oh wow. All right. Oh shoot. Headshots. How many headshots so far? Six. Come on. Ah. 
that worked. Come on, come on, I can see you lots. Seven and counting. Eight. Oh god, I'm good. Alright. Eight headshots. Which one? There are three slots on the left. One of them is the receiver. We need to pop the controller wire. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> the language in this game is ridiculous. Typical British man's language. This gets me blown up. The F word is a regular. Come on, Dalton. <sighs> <sighs> See? That wasn't so bad, was it? Ugly, you bastard. You're gonna give me a bloody heart attack then. <laughs> whoa, 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 what the fuck am I looking at? It appears Parliament is not the only target. More bombs are going live as we speak. On screen, Bagley. Now we need to get the word out. Those sites need to be evacuated. They're spread out all over London. There isn't any time. Wait, this game is already lit from the dump. I'm we impressed. Definitely better than the in San Francisco. Oh god. Sabine, what's going on? We're being raided. It's a bloodbath. A protocol what? is to wipe everything, including Bagley. I need him for the transmitter. I know, but if they get him, they get everything. Names, ops, locations. Okay, I'll do it the old-fashioned way. Wipe him. Yes, wipe me. Do it, Sabine, and get the hell out of there. See you at the rally point. I promise. Good luck. Get behind covers, man. Jesus. You got me killed with that. Ooh. Come on, Dalton. Come on, come on, come on. I'm not dying. Yeah, it's loading. Wow, that's a waste. God, the headshots in this game is ridiculous. Is it? Come on. There we go. Are there more weapons? <gasps> oh, yes. The beautiful London.
someone hacking dead sick. Ooh. Yeah, right now. That's my question. You're here to save London. I'm afraid that's not going to happen. You're here to help us with some important work. Important work? Killing thousands of people. Ooh. Exactly. To save the world. You do know Londoners have died before. Hmm? The plague, the Great Fire, the Blitz. It's not much fun. But destruction is always the cure. And it begins today. Zero day. It's time for a hard reset. He's gonna kill him. Oh my god. Wow. Zero day indeed. in London. Authorities are asking residents to remain in their homes as the situation continues to develop. We have received no official casualty total for this evening's session. Mourners gathered for a series of candlelight vigils that brought closure to thousands of and indeed to an entire city. London is now labeled as Then and Downing Street, where Nigel Cass, CEO of private military company Albion, received a mandate to secure London. Cass has vowed to hunt down dead sets in terrorist attacks on London streets. Albion used cutting edge artificial intelligence systems and autonomous drones to capture the remaining members of dead set. A stark warning was needed to turn the tide. Corporations are posting record profits due to increased efficiencies in production and distribution, enabled by the use of technologies initially developed and approved for security purposes. Also, a new cleanup as crime numbers take a dive. <laughs> Legal gambling, drug trafficking, and prostitution all down following prosecutions of the leaders of four of London's five largest criminal syndicates. The streets of Camden are open. As Albion's mandate is extended indefinitely by the government, life finally begins to return to normal. Curfews and travel restrictions have been lifted in all boroughs thanks to the deployment of outlets. Reports of rioting in Trafalgar Square have been greatly exaggerated. Possibly by Bro, why does this remind me of like ten sorrows social stuff. media? Albion is in complete control of its news industry. Red cards are public about the circulation of fake news. Conspiracy theories persisting in dark corners of the internet that terrorist group Dead Set were framed for the bombings have been roundly rejected. Our own reporters could not find a single Londoner willing to expound those theories. I can say wow on that prologue. Oh man, I'm actually quite impressed, not gonna lie. Definitely a better intro to that compared to uh, what's it called? What Dogs 2, San Francisco. So yeah. I need to assemble a team, but I can't reboot Dead Sec alone. Let me break in London CTOS and see who's available. Oh, this is so fun. Claire Waters, and we've been discussing the hacktivist, now alleged terrorist group, Dead Sec, on this week's Buccaneer Radio. I have Colin. Colin, what's your take? Now, I've been saying from the start we should have round up dead sick and thrown him in jail. Now, I'll say they should all be lined up and shut. You don't find it awfully convenient that they've been fingered as the attackers, but we've seen no proof. Look at Joe! Look at our city! What more proof do you need? Well, Colin, I'd say you have to look at their history of non-violent action. Albion's put more civilians in the hospital in the past few months than dead sick ever had. I smell a scapegoat. Now I have Emily calling in. Emily, what's your take? You're absolutely right, Claire. The government's just framing dead sex because they want to make it seem like they have this under control. They probably have no clue who was behind the bombings. But that doesn't look good on the news, does it? Dead sex has been a thorn in their side. Who better to pin it on? Angie, I have you next. What do you make of all this? I think in everything, dead sex showed their true colors. Terrorists in our own backyard. Do you find dead sick more frightening than the different gang 
Loom, the regular, I had Rod, uh, Rogers and uh, Toronto here. <sighs> oh, yes, 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 yes. Shit, this situation is worse than I thought. Uh, I definitely need someone that can here. get me Looks out like of jail like, like that. There you go. Connor Hanley, I think that's his name. Bruh, already. Glad to see you're alive. If you're still committed to the cause. Medsec needs you. I'll send you the coordinates to our last safe house. Meet me there. All right, let's see the driving is better or not. Oh, hold up, it's actually way smoother. Ooh. Ah, I had to do that. I definitely had to do that. But the driving is actually, actually smoother. Open the path, it's actually smoother. Don't mind my driving. Do not mind my driving. I'm just trying to feel the the physics of this stuff right now. Yo, this is actually well, it's improved to a level. I mean, it was expected. All right, let's meet the crew. I've downloaded a patch to your optics so you can access our security system. It's set up so that I can't just let someone who isn't dead sec in. You will have to do the manual override. Secret passages and hidden bases. Oh, I we'll fucking miss this shit. Yes, brother. Open sesame indeed. Let there be light, and there was light. No dead tech registration detected. Identify yourself, or I'll seal the exits, hack your optic, and read you every drunken email you ever wrote until you starve. And you'll have to explain my untimely demise to Sabine. Sabine's alive? Well, that's one piece of good news. I'm actually dead tech's definitely not stolen, highly advanced. Hello, and welcome back to the upload. In this episode, we're talking about CTOS 3.0. Waters, and we've been discussing the hacktivist now. Hey, I'm assistant, and it seems I've been out of commission for a few months. Anyway, why don't you go connect me to the Dead Set Network so I can become more powerful than you could possibly imagine? I mean, catch up on what I missed. <sighs> we got our first mask. Come on, interact.
Yes, that. Ah, that's it. I've reconnected to the network. Downloading our database, news archives, and oh, oh, oh no. Terrorist group Densec responsible for deadly bombings in London. Dalton Walk dead? I leave you people alone for a second and you immediately. Lock it all up. That's <laughs> shape, but what I want to know is if it wasn't Densec who did the bombings, who was it? There's a gap in my memory after Dalton, well, let's be honest, after I disarmed the bomb at Parliament. I'm missing information about what happened after I was taken offline. But from what I can infer, an unknown hacker group identified only as Zero Day was involved. I believe this Zero Day staged the attacks and framed DedSec for their dirty work. Come to my terminal. Sabine is requesting a video call. little voice is your memory intact not even slightly the last record i have is of our hq being raided my only lead is a group known as zero day ring any bells no but the hq was attacked by some men in black the same that were at parliament maybe working together we didn't stand a chance what if Albion they just gunned everyone down christ how did you make it out i managed to escape through the sewers to camden a contact smuggled me out of the city, and I've been hiding out in the north since. Prudence, your profile is red flagged as a high priority target in the city's surveillance system. Even a partial recognition hit would have you hunted down and shot on sight. Dead sick is about as popular as the plague these days. Look, you know I'd do anything for you, but fucking hell. <laughs> Sabine, that's a lot to ask. Listen, if anyone knows anything about risks, it's me. I lost everything and everyone. But it comes down to this. London is in a death spiral. And if Dead Set can't pull it out, trust me, no one can. The city needs a resistance. And it starts with you. Oh, right, you you. Fuck it. There's fate's worse than death. Excellent. New user registered. Welcome to Dead Set. It would be irresponsible of us to release you naked and mewling into the wild. You'll find equipment around the safe house that are essential items to your death. Death kit. Should I go for cloak or the infiltrator? I should have uh, 16. This one I can hide, and this one is more like a stealth type stuff. It seems my character has a history. So, you know what? I'm gonna go with Cloaker.
We have a sophisticated system for hiding your identity from facial recognition tests. It's called a mask. And while we're here, perhaps we can talk about updating your wardrobe. I mean, look at you. Come on. <laughs> Yo, Bagley's so rude. <laughs> oh my god. Ah. I mean, I only have 375, so what could I possibly buy? Oh, can you do that? That's definitely not my style. Alright, I'll go with the... Uh, his current person, actually. You've got all these fancy new toys, but it's also important to know the basics. You need to learn how to throw a punch and how to take one. Albion will escalate if you come at them with a gun and shoot you down. We want to avoid collateral damage. In DedSec, we tried to use guns only at the last resort. Have you already met Connie Robinson? She owns the pub and is an old DedSec contact, not to mention a champion amateur boxer. Go to the practice ring and she'll show you how to split in when someone cocks a punch at you. Choice of words. I definitely miss one. Oh man. Oh. Let's offer some basics. Come on. Hey, come on. Come shy. on. Come on. Don't sleep. You want to get in under my block. Find the weak point. <clears throat> Couldn't have done that better myself. Yes. Nice one. <clears throat> Quick on your feet now. You want to create distance. Yes. Oh my G. Right, gear in order. Know enough not to punch yourself in the face or get shot for pulling out a gun too early? Brilliant! I'm working out how to find Zero Day and ruin their day, but I need someone with actual legs to do the legwork. Hope you're ready. We have some damage control to do if we want to change the perception that we're a bunch of violent thugs. I'll let you be the judge of how best to handle yourself, but remember, you represent DedSec now.
Let's do this. What's the plan, boss? Make no mistake, London is under occupation. Armed mercenaries patrol our streets, allegedly to keep people safe, but really they're keeping the people scared. I always trigger the authoritarian handbook. Make people afraid of nothing they please themselves. So, we have to ignite the will to resist in the people of London by showing them that Albion aren't the solution. They're the problem. For that, we'll need information. I'm pushing two sets of coordinates to your optic. Cheers, Bagley. I've identified two opportunities. One, we're going to disrupt some Albion propaganda. Remind the people it's not Albion's way or the highway. Two, we need intel about Albion operations if we want to throw a spanner in their plans. You get me? You know I am. Let's look this motherfucker up. Brilliant. Let's get the people of London on board. Yes, I want him. Actually, no, that's just a mission special. Come back for him. Bruh, heading into a known territory. Alright, alright, alright. We need a vehicle. A nice one. Ooh, I like you. Sorry about that, buddy. Come on, don't do that. I mean, the game is actually quite polished, you know? So, like, driving is... Meh. It's a bit better than the previous game. Drones in the sky. Ridiculous. Oh, right here. Okay, this is a dead set right there. So, what's the task here? established an operational base in the Royal Court of Justice. Suppose the tracks that they've taken off of the courts, they throw everyone who crosses them in a cage. Exactly. But it likely means there's information here about how Albion are targeting dissenters, the who and the why. We need that data if we're going to disrupt their operation. Are there guards here? So it might be. Oh yeah, same one. Takedowns are lovely. All the way there. Come on. I don't want security on this one.
joking, man. Yeah. I mean, I could just use camera and stuff. Risk. Why am I being sent back there? Yes, I know. That's why I oh, well, oh it's only there. and stuff. What have we got, Buggy? A list of what Albion consider high-value targets that are threats to the peaceful running of London. Look, see here? A journalist. And this one runs a community shelter. Good God, bar your doors. 
What the fuck? All <laughs> suspected of sowing rebellion or exhibiting tendencies towards <laughs> Albion are systematically arresting people even before they rise up. Joke's on them. This list can actually help us find like-minded allies willing to help us. Well done. Now, let's disrupt some of Albion's propaganda and give some hope to the people. Actually, I only know what it feels like to be chased by these guys. I'm not, I'm not about to get this guy arrested right now. I don't have anyone that can get me out of jail currently. Don't worry, I won't get you. Look at this! Oh my days! Anything off about the driving is the fact that the acceleration peaks, but you don't feel it. Albion, Albion, fucking Albion everywhere. It's burnt into the skin of the city. This isn't just propaganda. This is a fucking psychological cattle tag. There's going to be that much less once you're done here. Let's give Camden a break from these eyesores. I'm on it. That's definitely reaching. I have to physically touch it, I know. Thank you. 
Yes, nicely done. That'll get people's attention. Let them know someone is standing up to Albion. Light the spark that they can stand up to. If nothing else, it'll relieve their eye strain. What now? We're already seeing results from what you've done. <sighs> All right, gonna take this opportunity to thank you guys for tuning in. This was definitely fun. I mean, I'm pretty much excited to run in the next episodes. I mean, yeah, and gameplays. Uh, so hit that notification button for the upcoming videos. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching and don't forget to hit the like subscribe and you guys can comment down below if uh you want me to try uh different tactics but on that note thank you it's been fun creating content for you guys and yeah stay blessed